I think that means it's time we head back up here and continue our journey to the north. Exciting times. Exciting times. And I guess we can get some levels. I guess we can get some levels with all of our accrued uh, inventory souls. I don't want to use all of them because... I, I kind of just forget they exist, but I, what I really should be doing is instead of going and when I'm close to a level and I want to get it before I head out, I can just pop some of those and get close to the next one. So I don't want to use them all so that I can do that in future, but uh, we may as well use the biggest ones and then we'll keep the smallest ones around for when we need to top, top ourselves off kind of thing. Okay, that's a couple of levels, right? How many do we have of the next lot? We have eight of these. Is that... Shall we do that? Yeah, go on. Let's let's do that. That's going to get us close to three levels. I don't think it will quite be enough. So we'll pop a few extra when we see how many we need. 30,000 souls, though. That's the most we've ever had on us. <laughs> uh... Yeah, we need another 700 we could just put it into Vigor. We are going to need more Vigor. Could put it into Stamina too. That does get us a bit of a higher equip load, which will be nice. Well, I guess armor doesn't matter that much, does it? Hmm. Yeah. We could do that. I'm just like... I'm thinking about my decks. Like, I don't want to fall behind on my attack values, you know? Because I'm leveling up decks and int together. Like, if I hadn't put... Because what did my int start at? Like 10? So that's 10 more levels I could have in decks if I wasn't going half and half. I could be at 31 decks right now. And potentially, I don't know how much extra damage that would be, but probably quite a bit. <laughs> so, it's tricky. It's tricky. But that int definitely did help me on the Godric fight. So it's not like it's a bad idea to be going half and half, but it does mean that I will be dealing less damage with both than I would be dealing with one if I focused on it, you know? I feel like I'm probably never going to level up my mind. I feel like I'm fine. It's enough to get off with a couple of pots and, like, the length it's already at. It's enough to get off a good amount of the gravity spells, which seem to do quite a bit of work, so... Yeah. I'd like to get Vigor to 20, and I'd like to get Endurance to 15. And then after that, we'll probably just keep pumping decks at this point, I guess. Something like that. Okay, so I need 700 more. What were these? Were these 400? Were these 400? So I only need two, or were they less than that? I don't remember. 
device. Level up. Let's hit that fat 20 vigor then, shall we? That sounds like a good idea. That sounds like a good idea. 20, 20, 21 on our key, most key stats. And yeah, I would like to get a couple more in there, so... Uh... Yeah. 11,300. 11,400, essentially, for the next level. Do I do another, is the question. How many do I have of these? 26. So if they're 400 each, then 10 is 4,000, 20 is 8,000. So I wouldn't get enough with what I have here. So then I'd have to start diving into these. Do I want to use all of that? Well, what else am I going to use them for? Well, I guess I could use them for weapon level ups and stuff when I have when I have the smithing shards that I need. Because currently it would be all of these plus a bit of that. But is it worth it to just have them sitting around? I don't know. It's not like I'm it's not like there's weapon repairing. I don't need to keep them around in case my weapons break and I have to repair them to be able to continue on. Uh hmm. Fuck it, let's just do it. Uh, it was 11,400, right? So I need another 1,000. Uh... Oh, I was like, where are they? It's because there's only one thing left. I'm just going over it. Uh, I need another 1,000, and these are 200 each, so I need five. And if these are 200 each... Then five of them is a thousand, so fifty of them is ten thousand. So I could even get another one, but then I'd be running pretty low on top up runes. I could get another. I could get another. You know what's really funny is that I'm doing this now, but I had most of these runes before the Godric fight. So I could have just used them before the Godric fight and had a slightly easier time. <laughs> oh, the things we think of after it's already too late. But hey, at least it will, I'll have an easier time. Oh, hello. Great Runes is now an, a thing on my thing? Oh, I didn't realize. Oh. Oh. Well, I bet I got a lot of comments about that last time. But uh, I've mentioned it a few times now. But for those who don't know, I am weeks, <laughs> weeks and weeks ahead of the uploads right now. So, uh, yeah, me recording this, what's, what's the date today? It is March 1st today, at time of recording. Uh, and this probably isn't going up until, like, late March. I don't know, I've lost track of how many I've recorded. Uh, but it's a lot. So, yeah, if you're putting something in the comments thinking I'm going to see it next time, I'm not going to see it next time, you know? Because uh, I just, I can't put this game down. I love it too much. I have to just keep going and... It is what it is. Also helps with avoiding spoilers and stuff because it means that I'm not gonna, not I'm much less likely to get spoiled the sooner I beat the game. Because as everyone starts to beat it, people are gonna start talking about it more and more, and then I'm gonna start having to be more and more careful about avoiding them and everything. So I would like to be able to beat it along with everyone else and not just play like, you know, small parts and then wait for the vids to catch up, etc. So yeah, that. It is what it is. With the Great Rune menu, you can equip Great Runes that have had their power restored. You can use a Rune Arc to give even greater benefits. Wait, what? That's not what it said, is it? I thought the Rune Arc said you have to use it to gain the benefits in the first place. But this it says you can equip it and then you can use your Rune Arc to give even greater benefits. Not to give the benefits in the first place. Raises all attributes. Bang. Okay. If I go to my levels now, are they all up by five? No, they are not. This is still 20, 21, etc. So I ask again <laughs> the same question. Am I supposed to believe that it's just working? That implied that it uses its effect and the rune arc merely enhances the effect.
Am I going crazy? <laughs> Runark says, grants the blessing of an equipped rune, equipped great rune, upon use. It specific. it doesn't say enhances it, it doesn't say it goes further. It specifically says that when you use this, you'll be granted the blessing of an equipped rune, implying that until you use it, you do not have the blessing of a great rune. But then the, the thing we just got, which of course I now I'm going to struggle to find, unless it's just the most recent one, which it of course is not. Da da da. Where is it? Wait, is it not in here? I thought I thought all tutorial text went in here. But I guess not. Huh. Well then fuck me, I guess. But I'm sh okay. Well, I don't know. I'll just have to ask people then. I'll just have to ask people when I finish recording, because that sure as shit does not look as though it's raised my stats. If I go to status, they're all the stats that they currently are. You can see the great rune there at the bottom middle. But does that mean it's actually <laughs> like you'd think you'd think if it wanted to be clear, then they would say next to them like they'd either be increased by five or they'd say like 20 and then plus five next to all of them. You know? You know? How many seeds do I have at the moment? Where do you even see them again? Ah, oh, here. I've got one seed. Oh, and the sacred tier. I need another two more seeds. But it's absolutely hilarious that I'm now up to plus five. And a single flask could probably fill my health bar. Well, now I've upgraded it a bit. Maybe at plus three or something. <laughs> that's, that's very funny. Man, this is like the most, the most options we've ever had resting. That is a lot. That is a lot. Right. So... So, it is time to head out. There's a path down that way, which leads that way. Is, is there also a path over here? We haven't really looked over this side yet. I can't believe that dude we've been chatting to this whole time is fucking Sir Gideon Offnir that got screamed about in the opening cutscene. Who are the others? It was like Gold Mask, I think was one of them. Gold Mask. Uh, the Loathsome Dung Eater. We haven't heard anything about Gold Mask or the Loathsome Dung Eater since the, that opening cutscene. Nothing has been said. Uh, who else? Who else? Fuck. <laughs> God damn it. He fucking has a life of his own. He'll take he landed and took like two steps forward that I wasn't asking him to and ran off. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. Yeah, I can't remember um are those souls going to be at the top of that rock? Good thing I just spent them all, huh? I think I had like a hundred left or something. Nothing much. They're up there. I mean, I'll try and get them. I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember that opening cutscene. It's been a while. I mean... Not sure. Not sure how I get there. 
Oh, there we go. Wait, really? Okay, there we go. 118. Massive. Now, can I get up on top of this? Fuck! Not again! Oh, okay. I really want to get up to the top so I can leave a message. <laughs> you know what? It's not worth it. It's not worth the time investment it's going to take to fucking nail it. Hello. Lovely playing with you. Yeah, so what that opening cutscene, I'm trying to remember it. It was... It was something... It was Gold Mask was like second or something? And then it was Dung Eater and then it was Gideon Offnir. But I can't remember who was first. Oh no, Fear was in there as well. Was there anyone else? Ah, victory. I'll have to watch it again. It's not like I haven't got it up on my very own channel. I can just go and look and see what those fucking names were whenever the fuck I like. Amazing. Incredible. Did you just try and attack me, you motherfucker? Kind of looked like you just tried to hit me. But I guess I'll allow it. This once. Where is this taking us? I wasn't expecting this path to be so long. way to get up here before, was there? Wait, really? I came here. I didn't see this. Holy shit. Oh my god, I thought this was a random dead end. Wasn't there like a, there was an item down there or something? I thought that was what this was for. I remember, I walked up here and I looked here. I'm pretty sure I looked here and was like, hmm. Nothing here. And then I didn't see that path back as I walked out because of this pole and this tree. And I was like, there's nothing there. And I just didn't... I didn't see it. Are you telling me we could have gone straight past Stormvale Castle this entire time? Holy shit. That's crazy. That's huge. You don't have to defeat Godric to continue to the next area. That's... That's massive. That's so massive. That completely changes the game for like when you want to spec into a certain build or something. Be the the weapon you want or whatever is in this area, and you don't want to fight bosses without it or whatever. You can just come and get it. That's m a major amount of player choice in how you want to tackle bosses. You could do Godric last, even. You could defeat every other boss in the game and then Godric at the end. That is, that is absolute, I'm, I'm like actually stunned. <laughs> I'm like actually stunned. Okay, so there's no way down this way, it seems. Beautiful. Isn't it? Isn't it just? Isn't it just fucking gorgeous? Just fucking soak it all in. Stunning. Yeah, so I don't think there's a way down there from here. So I think we have to go around that side. Unless... Did I just see tombstones? Oh, I did see tombstones. We could tombstone our way down. What do you guys think? Should we head left and go to that village? Or should we drop right and see what's over here? And we can drop even further down, all the way down there. Hmm. I'm thinking we check out the other side first. I'm thinking we check out the other side first. 
snap decision. On my head, on my head be it. Shing! Anything in the rocks here? Are you fucking hiding anything, you trees? I'm never going to trust a tree again in my life. Hiding shit from me. Really, I'm just coping that there's going to be a fucking way to get to that place over on the left. Like some fucking cave that takes you there or some shit. But there just isn't. How the fuck do you get there? I'm so upset. <laughs> I'm so very upset that I can't fucking get there. Or at least, maybe I can, but I just don't know how. But it is, like, very not obvious how you get there. I really thought there was just a path that I could go through. All right. Hello. Oh, I've just realized my great rune is in the top left now, huh? I hadn't I hadn't noticed that. That's cool. Do you mind? That's cool. It just sits up there. Another short sword, all right? Nothing nothing really impressive particularly. Okay. That hurt. How about fucking no? Jesus, they can actually fucking hit. Prick. Interesting. We never saw soldiers using, like, uh, spells and stuff, I don't think, in, uh, in, in, well, is this, no, this isn't Limgrave anymore. We never saw, we never saw soldiers using that shit. So this is definitely, like, the sorcerer area. Is that, is, is that, uh, Raya Lucaria? Is that that place, I think? That's, like, affecting everyone. Everyone is now using that shit. We're gonna need to get that. Glintstone Craftsman's Cookbook. Wait, is it the star? No, what is it key items? Yes. Uh, left by Glintstone Craftsman who served the Academy. It contains information on faux sorceries, such as they were called. Cuckoo Glintstone. What the fuck is Cuckoo Glintstone? Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is the this is the symbol of magic. This is the symbol of magic we've seen a bunch of places. These are warriors from Raya Lucaria, probably then. Which makes even more sense why they're using spells, because it is literally what they do. <laughs> it is literally what they've been taught. Any secrets hiding off the edge of the cliff? Doesn't look like it. Man, after several long episodes of exploring that one place, Stormvale Castle, and then a couple of wrap-up episodes, it feels crazy that we've now just got an enormous map to explore again. <laughs> like, here it is. Here's the whole next bit of the game. <laughs> just fucking reaching out in front of you. Daring you to step towards it. I love it. Any secret caves in these cliff sides? Any secret caves in these cliff sides? Any secret caves? Any secret caves in these cliff sides? Eat a fat dick. Eat the fattest dick. 
You ain't getting me any more bats. Said the Joker. Hello? Can we hit? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I know that feeling, mate. <laughs> Man, I, I didn't really expect it to allow me to ride all the way around here. I really should just go there. Oh, wait. I'm not even... Oh, hang on. Oh, okay. Let's explore up here, then. Fuck, that's so sick. <laughs> oh, that's such a pretty view to get yeeted up into. What is that? Is that a balloon? Is that like an air trap or something? Oh, hi. Touch grass. Lost grass discovered. Leonia Highway South. I wonder what the other great runes do then. This one raises your stats by five except does it, who knows. I will, I will ask. Am I going to record any more tonight? Maybe. Yeah, it's only 10 p.m. I'll probably record another couple of parts after this tonight. And then after those two parts, I'll ask friends if uh, if it's just activated all the time or if you have to use a rune arc to activate it. Because I feel like those two descriptions were very contradictory. The, the great rune description tutorial thing that came up when I went to the menu for the first time said you equip it to activate it. Whereas the rune arc thing says that you use a rune arc to activate it. But the great uh, the tutorial said that you use a rune arc just to enhance it. So, I don't know, man. Mix, mixed messages. Fuck me. I might be dead, actually. <laughs> Look at that full heal. Look at that fucking full heal. Incredible. Got him. Ah, <laughs> oh, horseback combat. Foot soldier helmet. Widely issued to foot soldiers in a lord's army. Incredible. Mind blowing descriptions. Truly. God, it's so fucking pretty. Oh, hello. There's a giant over here, is there? All right. He's tied down, is he? Is he tied to something? He's got the chain on him, but I can't tell if the chain's attached to anything. Hi. If I were to say, give it a little bit of the old this, would you be able to come and hit me? Fucking have it. Oh shit. Yeah, that still hurts. Are you not tied down to anything? Oh fuck! Oh fuck, he's not tied down to anything!
Yeah, that'll get it done. Has my fucking stamina bar... <laughs> I swear my stamina bar wasn't even close to that big before. I only upgraded it twice, didn't I? And now my stamina bar is fucking huge? Oh, wait. Does the great rune... Hang on. Is the great rune doing that? It says raises all attributes. And these are specifically your attributes. These are your attribute points. So these must be your attributes. But it actually means... Wait, no, well, yeah, no, it means your bars. I guess, I guess that makes it visible. So I guess it is just, yeah, no, I was thinking, I was, yeah, no. Ignore, <laughs> ignore my revel revelatory voice where I was like, oh, it meant my bars, not my stats, but my stats are my bars, so it's, whatever. I guess you just, those are the visible ones? Because I swear that's not that big before. So hang on, let's take it off. Oh, we have to be at a, well, next time we're at a side of grace. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that means it is working then. Because I swear my bars were not that big before. So I'm pretty sure that means it is working. And I just have to accept that it is also applying to like my decks and int and everything else. Even though it doesn't show it on the stat sheet. Which it absolutely should. It is very weird that it doesn't show it on the stat sheet. Hello, tree spear? Oh, tree spear. Where are you? Tree spear. There it is. Uh, 15 strength, 22 dex, and 18 faith, is it? Alright. Golden spear with a tree-like design. Wielded by knights employed as palace guards in the royal capital of Lanedell. Deals holy damage. Well, shit a manjaro. We're going to be fighting a bunch of pricks with spears later on, aren't we? But not for, not for 50 more hours. <laughs> Requiring superior dexterity to wield. This great spear can perform consecutive thrust attacks despite its large size. Sacred Order skill. Skill of the Golden Order Fundamentalist Knights. Perform a salute and grant the armament holy essence. Highly effective against those who live in death. Thank you. Do. Didn't expect beautiful, but time for tranquility. Unfortunately, it's more like time for fog for me, but... Uh... No jumping ahead. You reckon? Oh, the fog clears! Gorgeous. Gorgeous. The rains have ceased and we have been greeted with another beautiful day. Greeted? Graced. The rains have ceased and we have been graced with another beautiful day. Boink. Anything to see around here? I don't know. Anything to see? Anything to see around here? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Is this this is the side of grace we already got, right? Hi up there. How's it? Oh, these are the fucking me mega stabby boys, right? The ones that lost their shit in South Limgrave, I think? Fuck these dudes. Fuck them hoes. Right. What are you? Are you gonna- I feel like you're gonna drop shit on me. Are you gonna drop shit on me? Should I be afraid? Or are you just like... Chillin'? Oh my god! The pain! I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, don't fucking mess with those pricks. 
if you want my advice, I would advise don't fucking mess with those pricks. Ever. Ever. Those pricks be cray. Time to go get our shit back. And oh my god, I guess it's also kind of time to end the part. Fuck, that's gone fucking quick. Jesus. Hi, are you... No, you're not friend. You are definitely not friend. Nobody here is friend. <laughs> friend? Or... Or Elden friend? Ring friend. There's a way to get down there. I guess from around there. Oh, law swords. Law swords. We got ourselves a law sword. This marks Melania's southward march. The blade of Mikella and her clean rot knights grant her wings never to be clipped. Interesting. Interesting. So Melania is the one that Radan fought. Melania is the one that spread the Scarlet Rot. She's also known as the Blade of Mikella. And her knights are called Clean Rot Knights, which is interesting. Why are they Clean Rot Knights when she's spreading Scarlet Rot? Is Do they just call it Scarlet? Do they not call it Scarlet Rot? Do they call it Clean Rot? Is it the same thing, just a different term for it? Grant her wings never to be clipped. I'm going to clip her wings. I'm going to clip her wings. They've mentioned her a few times now, so she's definitely a boss. <laughs> That's generally how it goes. If they mention them more than a couple of times, they're a boss. And here we have another sight of grace. Be wary of sword fighter. What? Oh, hello. There's a pokey boy over there. Be wary of sword fighter. I don't know. But I'll touch me some grace. And then I'll end the part. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around. Share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you next time for more Elden Ring. Thanks for watching. See you then.